Yu-Gi-Oh!'s new Battles of Legend Chapter 1 set isn't exactly the most popular product on the block, but it does reprint a lot of really cool cards for themes like heroes, light swords, harpies, cyber dragons, and more. So Alec and I decided to buy up all the copies we could find at our local card shop, rip open the packs, and see what decks we can make out of them. This is our Battle of Legend. Let's see what Battles of Legend has in store for us. I have to beat up the box a little bit, but it's all good. All that matters is what's inside. First, we have our secret rare, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. I don't think I'll be able to use that. That doesn't feel likely. And my die is Big Eye. And now, I have two booster packs in this big old box. Sage of Ice and Blue. Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon after Duel Links, it scares me. Minerva the Exalted Light Sword. Very, very nice card. Skullbone, Vanity Spin, Increase, Sage with Eyes of Blue, that's my second one. Oh, a Judgment Dragon, that's cool. Petito, Hero Lives, White Marae, Lila. And just like that, I pulled two prize cards. I remember when each of these cards was like a thousand or two thousand bucks and they were impossible to get. Now it's as easy as just buying a box or a Battle of Legend box. Okay, let's see what I get. This flap is always weird to me. Ooh, I got a green die. I got Elemental Hero Strato. Nice. Guys, I got the Secret Judgment Dragon die, and I have no clue if that's in focus, but it's the one that's not actually shown on the back. Ooh, I got number 90. Oh my god! I, oh wow, okay. I got number 90, but I also got the Astral Language Utopia. Forgot they're actually reprinting this in here. I guess this is like the closest you have to a to a chase card in this set and surprisingly within this duel it'll probably actually be pretty useful we got a lot of level fours whether you go with like heroes light zorns or harpies or whatever so awesome i'm happy so i got these two sages of eyes of blue one's the normal ultra rare one's the, yeah, spe the silver ultra rare but the weird thing is there's like no other blue eyes in this set so we, for our challenge that's kind of useless but also why why yeah, same with me and stuff like Sky Striker Afterburners. It's just kind of like it's here, but then there's not really any other Sky Striker cards. Same with like stuff like this. No purpose. This video is sponsored by Pocket Chance. Pocket Chance is a free to play mobile game available on both iOS and Android. In Pocket Chance, you'll assume the role of a coach and you'll recruit, train, and strategize to help your champ reach its full potential. And once you've done all of that, you just have to kick back and watch your champ race. But this isn't left up to RNG. With the right gear, you can give your champ a major edge in the rest of the competition, and by winning races, you can climb the leaderboard and unlock even more gear. My favorite thing about Pocket Champs is how low maintenance it is. Your champs will train while you're away from your phone, and your only job during a race is to just watch. But wait, there is more. Pocket Champs has monthly updates to add new gear, locales, and skins. So do you have what it takes to be the best coach? Then download Pocket Champs by using the link in the description. We've partnered with Pocket Champs to offer you guys a starter pack with 500 gems and the ice cream skin. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code. The reward is worth $15 and it's only available until March 31st, so hurry up. Thanks again to Pocket Champs for sponsoring today's video. Time for the Battle of Legends. Yeah, this will be a legendary duel. So we made these decks only with cards that we could get in this set, so this will be a mess. Yeah, I have like sort of an archetype going. I'm actually curious to see how far I can take. All right, we're gonna roll. A six, that's not good. Oh, okay. I rolled a, a four. It. All right, you All can right. go first. Or you can pick a duelist. No, I'm going first. I'll start by activating, summoning my Raiden Hand with a Light Sword. Okay. So I use my Raiden's effect to mail two cards, Raiden and Pankratops. Pankratops came in this set? Well, it's in a grave now, so. All right, so he does not gain any attack, and I'll move to my Oh, he only phase. gains if you hit a Light Sworn? Yes. Okay. And then he'll mail two more. Oh, now we hit a Light Sworn. Oh, and a Solar oh, Recharge. And solar Recharge. Name. All right, I draw for turn. Since you control a monster and I don't, I'm special summoning Cyber Dragon That's from my hand in attack name. position. Attack Raiden. Gotta take it. I'll then set one monster face down. And then my turn. Draw for turn. And I'm gonna normal summon Lumina, Night Sworn Summoner. If I take my Lumina's effect, I will discard a card and target my Raiden special summoner. Okie doke. I wish I had effect Veiler, but that's not in this set, so. So now I'll use my Raiden's effect to mill two. Oh, we hit a Felis Night Sworn Archer and a Lumina. 
Okay. So that means he'll gain 400 attack until the end of your turn. Okay. 400? Because he'll gain 200 each? for each. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, never mind. You know, he, he, he just gains two. Okay, so he's 19. Oh. Okay. I don't think the light sword synchros in the set or anything like that. It's not. But we will overlay Minerva, the exalted. Oh, you're doing actual light sworn combos. Well, you know, we got the prize card. We're going to use the prize card. Okay. So I can detach one to nail three from my deck. Then I draw equal to the number of light sworn set. Fell us again. <laughs> Fell us again. Okay. So okay. We, we hit we hit two fellas, so I get to draw two. Well, at least fellas can't summon or does it or can it? I don't I don't. Does think it have it a hard can. once per turn? It there is not. certainly no hard once per turn on this. Oh lord, okay. Eee. No. So I guess I can use this fellas effect. I'm gonna attribute it to destroy your cyber deck. No off the fellas effect. One. Lila. Two. Solar recharge. Three. Another. So all three solar recharges. There are all my are solar recharges. Okay. Okay. Minerva will attack your face down. She has 2,000. You attack Cyber Larva. Then destroy my balance into the grave. I can summon another Cyber Larva from my deck. Special summon another Cyber Larva. Lame. Not lame. Genius. Lumina will attack Cyber Larva. I don't have another. I only had two, so. <laughs> <laughs> and I will end my turn there. All right, so Lumina has to mill, Lumina I think. Lumina will mill three cards in the end phase. Let's just hope you mill out. Dingo Seca. I don't think I even have spells or traps to set. Draw one for turn. Oh, jeez, this is not a good start. All right, we're going to start by activating Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburners. Since okay. I control no monsters in my main monster zone, I'm going to target your Felis and destroy it. Felis or Minerva? Or that. Okay. Yeah, Minerva and destroy it. And that will trigger Minerva's effects. She'll just let you mill three more. Mill three. I don't have any spells in my grave, so I don't get to get the extra effect. Well, you don't even have spells and traps you destroy anyway. Goodbye, Minerva. I'll normal summon my elemental hero, Prisma. I'll attack your Lumina. Mm -hmm. Your move, Duel. Let's draw for time. All right, we'll just special summon out Jasmine Dragon. Okay. We certainly have the four or more. We have Lumina, Minerva, Raiden, and, and a fellas, I think. Lila. And a Lila. And fellas, yeah. Okay. So we get our judgment dragon to the field. Normal summon the Raiden. Use the effect. This didn't get any extra. Nope. Fog blade and Kyoto wa Waterfront. Hey, stop, stop clocking my cards. Judgment dragon attacks Prisma. Fellas attacks for 1100. And Raiden attacks for 1700. And I'll move to end phase. Raiden will no two more. Wow, he has some random cards in there. Oh man, this would have come in so much handy. I'm gonna set this and pass my turn. Draw for turn. We'll go ahead and use Judgment Dragon's effect. Okay. Pay a thousand, destroy all other cards in the field. My Vision Hero Multiply Guy. Does that do something? No. Oh, okay. Then we'll normal summon Lila and we'll swing for game. Well, when you attack for 17, I'm gonna use my Vision Hero Multiply I'm Guy. for Judgment, judgment first. Okay, well, when you attack with that, I'm, I'm just. Oh! <laughs> I thought it that doesn't was do stop anything. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's game one. All right. You got the first move, duelist. And I'm just going to normal summon up my weathering soldier and pass. All right. During your end phase, you lose a 600. Draw for turn. All right. Special summon cyber dragon. Attack for 700 damage. Effective weathering soldier. I'm going to add to my hand time stream. I'll go to main phase two, set a card, and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll activate Kyoto Waterfront. Normal summon out my Lila, my Swan Sorceress. Lila attacks face down. It's another Cyber Larva. Oh, no, he's making the same plays. That's right. Special summon Cyber Larva in defense. I move to end phase. I love it. Three cards. Dogeron, Vanity's Fiend, Powered Crawler. All right, your turn. Oh, this is not, these mails are not. Draw. Mails are not hidden. Normal summon Destiny Hero Denier. When it's normal summon, I can take a Destiny Hero monster from my deck or grave or that's banished and put it on top of my deck. Destiny Hero Dreamer. Cyber Dragon's gonna attack Lila. Then we're gonna attack you directly for 1100. Gotta take it. Here, move. Draw for turn. What were you looking at extra deck for? I might make some. You just relax with all that. Put that extra deck back. <laughs> I'm about to go into it. So I activate Fossil Fusion. So I'm gonna use my Weathering Soldier and your Cyber Larva to summon Fossil Dragon Skullgar, Lumina, a Light Sworn Summoner, and I'll activate Lumina's effect. Discard this Felis targeting the Lila in my grave. Skullgar, attack Cyber Dragon! Lila, let's go ahead and attack the Cyber Larva. It's gone. And with that, I'll move to the end phase. Lila will mill three cards. 
Oh, okay. You didn't want to destroy my did not here, did you? That's okay. I no, it's staying. A thousand. Oh, I thought you were going to attack with that. And that was going oh, to attack. A, oh, that would have been a cool thing. Well, that's okay. I will not complain. I am my move. Turn. Okay, so that was your mills. Yep. Six. My six. Oh, I forgot Lumina was here too. Wolf. Wolf will special summon himself. Oh my god. Oh, I think this has like more counters. Like four now? Oh, yeah, it's at four. You let me stick around too long now. That's what you think, duelist. But little do you know. Check out this awesome play. I'll activate Vision Fusion. Oh, snap. Let's use Destiny Hero Dreamer and Destiny Hero Denier. Fusion Summon. I don't really know he's make it. Say hello to Destiny Hero Dangerous. He has uh, only 2,000 attack for now, but I'll use its effect. Discard, my hero lives, and now I can send a Destiny Hero monster from hand or deck to grave, and all my Destiny Heroes will gain 200 attack for all Destiny Hero monsters in my grave until the end of this turn. Oh, okay. So this thing becomes a little, becomes a little big. And that's the plan. Anyway, I'll send Malicious. Now this thing goes up to 26. Then, Destiny Hero Dangerous, attack your Skullgar. You'll take effect of my 100 damage. Fossil Fusion to add it back to my hand. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll use my Lumina's effect. I'll discard Felis to target the other Felis in my grave. Special summon. Now I'll use Felis' effect. I'm gonna tribute Felis to destroy Dangerous. Wow, that was dangerous. And then mill three. Wow, that Pankertops hasn't gotten to yeah, it'll never get played. The C play. My piece with it. Wolf will attack for twenty one hundred. Lila attacks for seventeen hundred. Then Lumina attacks for one thousand. Then a main phase two. Overlay for Minerva the Exalted Light Sworn. And I'll use Minerva's effect. Detach one. Mill the top three. One, two, three. Oh my god, we draw three, three cards. No fair. Set one card face down. I'll end my turn. I draw. I will special summon my denier and defense because I have a oh, destiny dare hero you deny me. in my graveyard. That will end my turn. Oh my gosh, nothing to set? Yeah, he doesn't have an effect he can use. Well, I mean, I guess I could put my, one of my monsters on top of the deck. It doesn't really... Yeah, I mean, I don't really cool. want to put Malicious on top. You, play, you, play, you played a good game. Did I? Fossil Fusion! Ah! My Skullgar. I didn't know if you had another. In one of your bar. larvas. No. Your fossil warrior skull bone. Now tribute. No. Tribute. I'll use no. my Lumina's effect, targeting Felis. Now I'll use my Felis's effect to tribute itself to destroy Denier, mailing three cards. Oh, Lumina. that's my life points. It sure is. Now I'll tribute Lumina for Celestia and special summon out Judgment Dragon. Fine, duelist, you win this round. <laughs> I wish they gave heroes more cards in here. <laughs> That's true. Lightsworn have all like their basics. You just don't have the synchros. Well, that was a good game regardless, I would say. GG. At least I got to conduct a fusion summon. I realized I maybe could have tried to make Blackluster Soldier, but I wouldn't have had a level seven or higher. So it, it wouldn't, wouldn't have, have been the, too, uh, it wouldn't have had my protection. Yeah. If I had made it, that would have been actually pretty cool because it can't be destroyed by any of your cards or targeted. Was that the key? Was that the like- That was probably it, but I didn't have like a high level, I have to have a level seven or higher. I was hoping so. you would get one because I wanted to get it in six. your graveyard so I could summon the Skull King. Oh, what's he take? He takes oh. a rock and a level seven or higher. Oh, listen, it was a fun game. Was, when, you saw, when you looked at him for a second, I got excited because- Yeah, like, I couldn't even make him. Cause I was like, ooh, I'm gonna use the Kyoto to tribute the Eskerid out and then Fossil Fusion. Well, so close. well played. Jeez. Konami, next time you make this set, please just add a few hero fusions. Got it? Like usable ones, I mean. It, what's crazy is- Or rather add miracle fusion. Just add miracle fusion. The funny part is there's a lot of people unironically saying that about this set. Yeah, I think this is a pretty decent set, but it definitely needs like, if you wanted to be able to draft it, it would be nice to have like, I think Stratos is in here and I just didn't pull it, but like Stratos, cause Stratos is in, I think, E calls in. Yeah, Maybe so add like, lucky. add like miracle fusion and because Sunrise is decent. in here, I really would have liked. I think Miracle, Miracle Fusion, Fusion would make would make sense. Other than that, I mean, like, it's okay. I mean, it's a fine set. If you didn't have a hero collection, you could you can certainly get started, especially on a, a lot of those older Omni Hero Fusions. 
Yeah, either way, I think I won at the end of the day because I got Astral Language Utopia that read I need it, to hurry it, up and sleeve. It. Uh, it says... You can't read it. It kind of, you can kind of make sense of it. There's like four stars, so it's like, in, you know, I rank four. You. <laughs> it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Alright, anywho. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty fun. Uh, if you did, make sure you drop a like. Uh, we tried to make the best we could out of a rather middling set, so. But it, overall, I think it was a fun time. I had different dimension ground. Yeah, I was I actually had one copy of that to use against you. I was gonna be like, oh, I, I was so make scared your you had it too. I cards like, oh, get banished. <laughs> Anyways, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn.